Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we explore the reasons why Elon Musk developed the Tesla bot. There is simply no getting around the fact that automation is necessary for a sustainable future. Elon Musk is aware of this, and Musk's ultimate goal is to create a machine that can build other machines, which is why Elon Musk has been fixated on the idea of a machine that does just that for years. It's really not coincidental that in the most recent Tesla bot demonstration video, we saw one robot literally creating another. We should be expecting crazy results soon. Elon Musk's return to the stage to give an update on the Tesla bot was one of the most remarkable moments of Tesla's most recent Investor Day presentation. This was the only occasion during the event's three hours when Elon made an appearance by himself, unaccompanied by any other Tesla staff members. This emphasizes even more how Elon Musk is the one in charge of the Tesla robot. We witnessed a much more capable version of the Optimus prototype, which we had previously seen on stage at the Tesla AI date in 2022. At that time, the prototype could not even stand on its own. It needed to be wheeled out on a dolly. Six months later, the robot was not only able to walk, but also pick objects up with fully humanoid five-finger hands, including high-precision movements. It's not performing parkour or anything insane, but it is utilizing tools. And in all likelihood, that makes it much more exciting for a robot to accomplish. Tesla recently demonstrated a useful application for a humanoid robot that is a machine that builds other machines. Elon notes that the brain, or artificial intelligence, powering these robots is what sets the Tesla bot apart from any other android we've seen thus far. Leading the way in real-world artificial intelligence, Tesla has created a computer brain that can drive a car, which is really a robot on wheels. They are just applying the same technology to a robot with legs, since having a humanoid robot that requires a program to teach it, every movement is not very useful. When we talk about the bot's functionality, to truly utilize the bot effectively, you would either have to be a skilled coder or the Tesla bot has to be restricted to a small set of preset movements. Elon believes that you can simply tell your Tesla bot what to do or even just tell it what you need, and it will take care of the problem on its own. Let's talk about the manufacturing side of this Tesla bot. The manufacturing size of the Tesla bot will also be a differentiator. According to Elon, Tesla has already vertically integrated the current Optimus prototype's design. Each robotic actuator was created by Tesla's in-house powertrain engineers, who are also the ones responsible for creating the Model S played motor, computer electronics, and battery system. As a result, once these components are manufactured, they want to create a large number of robots. Elon Musk is referring to a future in which there will be more robots than people. The reason he believes this is because he is aware that the more Tesla bots he builds, the more Tesla bots he can manufacture. Most people still don't get this and think it's a big novelty. Those who look at a Tesla bot are looking at the future of Tesla's workforce. It's evident that these visions of the future will touch a nerve with a fair number of people who are afraid that robots will take their jobs and leave them behind. But another way to look at it would be that we actually need robots in order to save those same jobs. That little scene of the bot attaching the arm onto another bot wasn't just a techno demo. That was literally putting it right out there in the open. Let's talk about another goal, which Tesla hopes to achieve. Tesla has stated that they want to surpass all other automakers combined in size which raises the question of whether or not it is even feasible to accomplish all of that without automation. If Tesla hadn't discovered that they could automate most of the work that will need to be done, their ambitious plans for growth would never have come to pass. Sure, they will continue to employ people, but those positions won't exist in the future if the robots don't help scale up production. We are aware that automated machinery and robots already abound in the Tesla Gigafactories. The limitation of these machines is that they are all stationary specialized unitaskers. No fully automated production line can have each individual task completed by a single machine. Examples of these machines include the giant arms, gigapress, stamping, and painting lines. There are just too many devices. They require too much space and resources, making it impossible to fully optimize for automation without adaptable, mobile, multitasking robots, which incidentally, are just what Elon Musk is creating. People often ask why Tesla built a humanoid robot. Surely there must be a better design. Well, no. It took nature and evolution a billion years to bring about the human species, which is now the dominant species on Earth. We aren't the fastest or strongest animals, 
We may not even be the smartest, sometimes it's hard to tell, but we are by far the most adaptable and broadly capable design in the known universe. So we might as well just copy that. This means that humans and robots are now directly equivalent in the context of the economy. One robot is equivalent to a lot of human labor potential. Keep in mind that we need to increase human labor, not replace it. Therefore, if we can integrate these robots into an already existing workforce, we can increase productivity without requiring any additional changes to how a business runs. The answer to inflation is productivity. As long as we can increase productivity to meet demand without raising costs, we can end the cycle of inflation and deflation. This is the issue that has destroyed the North American manufacturing sector over the past few decades. Businesses were unable to continue operating their business models without either raising productivity or lowering costs, which forced them to close their doors and relocate their operations to other regions of the world where operating costs are lower. The only way to halt this trend, preserve the little domestic manufacturing that remains, or even hope to grow it back to what it was in the middle of the 20th century, is to automate. Tesla is currently creating the model for how to do this at Giga Mexico, and any manufacturing company in the world can replicate it by automating production with a self-sufficient robotic workforce. For better or worse, there's no avoiding the fact that we need robots, so we might as well face them head on. It will be replicated because there is no other way to keep up with our necessity for continuous growth that doesn't involve a race to the bottom that ends in total disaster for everyone. The Tesla bot's potential to revolutionize Tesla's production speed and efficiency is a tantalizing prospect. While robots hold undeniable promise, they're still in their early stages, and integrating them seamlessly into complex manufacturing processes requires careful planning and overcoming technical hurdles. Ultimately, the bot's true impact hinges on its ability to complement, not replace, the human workforce, leveraging their unique strengths in collaboration. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.